The third edition of the UA Tour was the first race of the 2021 World Tour Series. And the first stage would take the riders from Al Dafra Castle to Al Murfa over 176 kilometers. 20 teams, all 19 World Tour squads included, and 139 riders got going in the crosswinds with the sand billowing across the tarmac and splits happening right from the start of the stage with the significant riders up front, including most of the declining quick-step squad. The reigning champion Adam Yates among those riders that made the early split. It came back together again and then a further split after the first intermediate sprint of the afternoon would uh, be the decisive one. The declining quick-step squad assembling to present Joao Almeida with the bonus seconds at that first intermediate sprint of the afternoon. And they persevered after that, and drew others into the fold, and that split the uh, peloton into several groups. That's as it would stay through to the conclusion of the stage. Making that significant and vital second split of the afternoon was Tane Pogaccio, the reigning champion of the Tour de France, second in last year's UAE Tour and representing UAE Team Emirates, making it into that group up front. By the time they came to the first passage of the finish line for the second intermediate sprint of the afternoon, well, the group had one minute and 45 seconds advantage over the first chase group. Pogaccio getting up for useful two-second bonus Almeida taking the three seconds on offer, courtesy of the lead out from his declining quick step squad. Fernando Caviria safely in that group up front. And as they came down into the closing stages, the attacks starting from that lead group, their advantage had stepped up over four and three quarter minutes. Joao Almeida beginning the significant attacks. Another one from Catano, his teammate. Was uh, left up to UAE Team Emirates to do a certain amount of the chasing behind. It all came back together again inside the final kilometer. The lead out coming from the Dequining Quick Step squad, but it was Matthew van der Poel, the Dutch national champion, that would lead the field through to the line ahead of his compatriot David Decker of Team Jumbo Visma. To a second on the line. But the victory going to Matthew van der Poel, the reigning world champion in cyclocross, the reigning Dutch national road race champion, and now victor of the first race of the 2021 Matthew World van der Poel, Tour season. The winner of and with it, he of Matthew van der Poel from uh, one hour racing to lead and the first red jersey of this seven the days. Of Jenny Vermeersch at the at the close of that one as we get uh, further confirmation of the overall standings. Uh, Van der Poel with that four second advantage over Decker and six back to Morku.